Hey there, everybody. Park Sousa here. I'm joined by Wild Turtle, the bot laner for FlyQuest. That was a fun game to watch. You popped off. You're playing a, an old throwback pick that uh -huh. maybe is now coming into meta. So why don't you tell me about the, the Jinx pick? What's kind of the meta for bot laners? Uh, honestly, I don't even know. I'm just picking. I think bot lane meta is just like you pick comfort picks or whatever and just play well on the picks. <laughs> so it, it kind of, you can make anything work right now, it seems like? Uh, more so. I mean, like most AD carries are kind of like meta. And yeah, you can just pick whatever you want and just play well on it. <laughs> so is this, do you, do you feel like the crit changes that have happened now are good enough to make, uh, you know, more things viable? Or do you feel like a little more tweaking would, would still kind of improve what's going on down there? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think the crit items more so pretty similar to the previous patch. Obviously, it's a little bit better early game, I think, but overall, I think the crit changes weren't like super big, other than the, most of the crit items being 200 gold less, which I think was the biggest change. Okay, so seeing at least Jinx is viable, so fun, maybe we'll get to see a little bit more. No. Um, I, I do have a question. The build that Piglet used, I thought was a little bit weird, because it was like an on-hit tank shredding. Um, would you normally, like, isn't the correct build more of crit on Kai'Sa as well? Or do you think? Um, I don't know if there's a correct build with Kai'Sa. I mean, you could go BF double pickaxe, which is pretty popular. Mm -hmm. I mean, I alternate between both as well. So I really don't know which one's better. I think I normally go Bork too, and I know I can win lane. I think that's like uh -huh. a time where I normally get it. So Unfortunately, because you didn't win lane, yeah. um, showing up big there for you. So what are you working on right now in your career? You know, what, what are you like trying to grind out? Uh, I'm just trying to get a little bit better at the macro. I know I've been playing a long time, but um, you can always get a little bit better at the macro. I think I messed up a pretty big point in that game by over-rotating top. So I do think that's one thing I'm working on personally. Is that more just you and your own kind of thought process or is it? Uh, it's both, it's a team process and my own process, so. Cool. Well, are you are you working with others on like I need to be I need to have better synergy here. We need yeah. to communicate better. For sure, yeah. Cool. <laughs> of of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Well, cool. Uh, so you said in your in in the the interview, mm -hmm. our team's bad. We needed a, a hyperscale. Yeah. What what's gonna take it for you know for in the interview next time you say oh we're the team's good so we can hyperscale. Uh, I mean when we're when we're when we're just better as a team. I think right now we just broke our loss streak. We lost four games in a row. That was pretty disappointing. So um, feels good to break it. But there's a ton of things we still need to work on as a team. We weren't improving as fast as the other teams, so we ended up falling a little bit behind. But anything can happen in playoffs. Anything can happen in playoff. Yeah, I mean, we saw some upsets last year. Uh -huh. um, do you, uh, like, when you, when you look at the schedule, obviously the last couple of weeks, I think there were a couple games you lost that you shouldn't have, but then you also played uh, the, kind of some of the top teams as well. Um, so, you know, are, are you chalking that up, some to schedule, some to just underperforming? No, I, th I just think we're underperforming. I mean, both of our games against C9 and TSM were both winnable. We had leads in both of the games but we just didn't have the macro knowledge to capitalize on them. Mm. Okay. Well, hopefully, you know, you're working on it. Hopefully it'll come, come yeah, together for you guys. Yeah, yeah. You do have kind of an easier schedule the next couple of weeks. Maybe it's just a good opportunity to, you know, hammer some of that out. Um, mm. What do you feel like the, your run up to playoffs? How, do you, how confident do you feel in being able to fix up some uh, of this? I think if we get to playoffs, there is going to be like crunch time for our team. We can improve really quickly if we just put our minds to it. And I do believe in my team. Of course, yeah. Of course. You've got to. Yeah. Um, so, what what are you working on? Anything else outside of game? Doing any any? Uh, so let, last time I think you know, or the la yeah, the last time that we got to see you at an international event, you were covering it, which yeah. was of course very uh -huh. fun. Yeah. Um, but you know, next time, of course, you want to be there playing. Yeah, of course. There. I mean, that's pretty much my ultimate goal. I kind of, I'm usually a kind of guy who just chills around, just whatever. But I like playing competitive games. So, yeah. You know, that is the goal. Uh -huh. um, so hopefully we'll get to see that from you. Uh, any any kind of last words about either developments that you're having or just worse of fans, anything? Shouts out to all the Wild Turtle fans out there. Boom. <laughs> Shouts out to y'all. Thank you so much for the interview. And please like and subscribe for some more uh, Score.GG content. And we'll catch you next time.